Shalom was the sister of Rabban Gamliel II of Yavne, the first person to lead the Sanhedrin as Nasi or Prince after the fall of the Second Temple, which occurred in the year 70 of the Common Era. Ima Shalom's husband, Eliezer ben Hyrcanus, was perhaps the best of Yochanan ben Zakkai's students. His wealthy father did not want him to be a scholar, but Eliezer went to Jerusalem about the year 65 of the Common Era, five years before the destruction, and proved to be a quick learner with a very retentive memory. Yochanan ben Zakkai described him as a plastered cistern that never lost a drop. Eleazar was one of those disciples who helped Yochanan ben Zakkai to escape from Jerusalem in the coffin. He studied and taught in the new center at Yavne and married Ima Shalom, the learned sister of Gamliel of Yavne. There were tensions and disagreements between him and Gamliel. Eliezer followed the stricter interpretation of Beit Shammai, whereas most now followed the more lenient Beit Hillel. And eventually, Eliezer established his own school at Lida. Today, this is the area between Tel Aviv and Jerusalem, where you'll find Israel's main airport, Ben Gurion. Back in the year 96 of the Common Era, Gamliel shamed and excluded Eliezer for not accepting the majority decision in a legal decision of the Sanhedrin. Several of Eliezer's sayings are recorded in Pirkei Avot, the sayings of the sages. Let your fellow's honor be as dear to you as your own. Do not be provoked to anger and repent one day before your death, which means every day, since who knows when they will die. Eliezer advised, warm yourself at the fire of the scholars, but beware of the heat of their coals lest you burn yourself, for the bite of scholars is as painful as the bite of a fox, and their sting is as deadly as a scorpion, and their hiss is like the hiss of a serpent, and all their words are like coals of fire. How do you think he felt about his fellow rabbis? Here's another Talmudic story that features Rabbi Eliezer, along with his wife, Ima Shalom and his brother-in-law, Rabban Gamliel of Yavne, who had disciplined him. Ima Shalom, the wife of Rabbi Eliezer, was the sister of Rabban Gamliel. After a certain incident between Eliezer and Gamliel, she would not allow her husband Eliezer to say a particular prayer, for she believed it might harm her brother Gamliel. She kept a careful eye on her husband, but one day she was distracted and found he had said the prayer. She said to him, now you have killed my brother. At that moment, the sound of the shofar emerged from the house of Rabban Gamliel to announce that he had indeed died. Rabbi Eliezer said to her, how did you know that your brother would die? She said to him, this is the tradition that I received from the house of my grandfather. The gates of heaven are always open for the prayers of those who have been verbally mistreated. The tomb of Gamliel II or Gamliel of Yavne is in Yavne. The story also raises some interesting questions. So please look at the worksheets and consider them. Ima Shalom's husband Eliezer himself died in the year 117 of the Common Era.